Well, today we're talking about one of those topics nobody wants to talk about. Hernias. And I happen to have one. I've had it for over a year. And today you're getting my review on my solution to dealing with a hernia. Now I'm a guy who's had a lot of injuries in his life. I've had three herniated disc surgeries on the same disc, L5, two vertebrae in my neck are fused together, fractured my collarbone, I've damaged both my knees, both ankles, lots and lots of injuries, motorcycles, all that kind of stuff, abusing my body my whole life. I've never had a hernia. So now I've been dealing with one for over a year and I had to learn about what's going to work for me. Before I get into this solution, I want to talk about health first. Just a quick piece of advice. If you are a typical man carrying around a big belly from eating too much dairy and too much meat and too much processed food, this is going to be a lot worse for you dealing with a hernia. I mean, it's your stomach, it's your intestines. If you have a big belly, it's going to bulge. It's always going to be pushing outwards. So I went vegan four years ago, three years before I got a hernia, and I ended up losing 60 pounds, which changed my life, made a huge difference in my life. And of course, getting a hernia, well, foods does affect your hernia. For example, this is my blueberry and banana shake that has 17 ingredients in it that I have every single day. I used to have two of them a day until I got a hernia. I had to cut it back to one because that weighs, I'm gonna say about a pound at least. It is a heavy shake. And when you get that in your intestines, it makes my hernia bulge out. And my hernia is about that big on uh, the worst day. And it is right in that little area where that little outline is. I can't pull the shorts out of there because I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> so. I actually had to alter my diet to deal with this so that I could continue my life of running my business as we build crazy cars and stuff like that. I needed to make a change without going to the doctor. I am not in a position or feeling very trusting of doctors right now. I am not able to go in and get surgery and take however many weeks off you have to take to recover. That's not an option for me right now. I have to keep working. So I had to come up with a solution. And just to give you an example, I used to be the kind of guy who had to carry all this in my bag because I had so many injuries. A knee brace. We have a wrist brace for my left hand. There's my other hernia belt from Amazon. I have, oops, band-aids. <laughs> wrist brace for my right hand. I always carry band-aids with me. And finally, a Summit Parts catalog. That's what I carry in my bag. I actually do not need all of this stuff anymore. All of those injuries have disappeared from going vegan with all the inflammation that I was dealing with, thinking it's my body's breaking down. No, it's what I was eating. When 90 to 95% of all of your health problems are caused by what you put in your mouth, Obviously, you can make a change. So, I ended up ordering this one first. That is the brand name. I'm not really caring about the brand names in these. These are just examples because there's so many companies make these that you can get them anywhere. So let me just uh, shut the camera off and I'll get this thing open. Okay. This is a $50 solution from Amazon. You got this little pad here and it just presses against your hernia and supposedly holds it in. If you decide you're gonna buy one of these, don't go with white. I work in a shop that's full of dust and white just turns to brown from all the dust. No, that's not anything gross. It's just dust turning it brown. Now, I used this for not quite a year and it helped me in the beginning, it was good. I just was not ready to spend $150 on an item like this because I didn't know if they were going to work. 
I had no idea what was going to work for me. So I started at the bottom, got a $50 belt, and it helped a lot. Not a little bit, it did help a lot. But after a year of use, well, you can see uh, this Velcro strap. This is the one that goes under your leg. It literally will go from the back under your leg and loop up, and you just hook it into there, and it's supposed to cinch things down and keep them from moving. But as the belt stretches over time, it doesn't fit very good anymore, and you spend all day adjusting the pad. And now I'm at the point, because the belt has stretched so much, that I need to have the belt up here more, but it doesn't stick in this area. So this belt's almost useless to me, and it, it's literally, it's just, it's lost all of its strength. All the pilling, all of your clothing, it literally, the Velcro here, tears your underwear. So I've probably lost a dozen sets of underwear from that, so add that into the cost of your 50 bucks and you almost have that. So, for 50 bucks, you get a temporary solution that might work for you, might not, but it's okay. For 150 bucks, now I'm over, I've been wearing these three to four weeks now, and what you're gonna find with these, the Ernia Boxer, is they're a compression short. They're extremely tight. I mean, so tight that I could not wear them to work when I first got them. I had to wear them around the house and get used to them. I would wear them for like an hour or two, kind of stretch them out, get my body used to them. Now I'm six feet, 190, 200 pounds. I don't know, I haven't got on a scale for a long time. And I had to go with a the large. They have a scale giving you all the measurements and everything, so you can measure yourself up. Not a big deal. The pad itself, they have a little pocket on the inside and you can use it on either side of the shorts. But the paddle itself, the pocket's big enough you can move it around to wherever your hernia might be. And I have to say, oh my goodness, these things have changed my life. Now before I get into it, pavis.it. These things have given me my life back literally within one day of trying them out. Once I got used to them, and now, and I know their material, they are gonna keep stretching, they are gonna wear out. But they have literally allowed me to work eight hour days with no issues anymore. They keep my hernia in all day long. When I am done drinking that shake, my hernia isn't a problem anymore. So, that is, uh, it, it's life changing when you have been dealing with a hernia and this is what your dream is. You've finally gone after your dream of building hot rods and whatever you want. And you get a hernia and it just limits you. Like I, I couldn't climb up onto the tire of that truck to work on the engine anymore. Everything was, I need a ladder, I need this, I need more hardware, which is just more money you're putting out all the time. So the $150 investment would have been good for me in the beginning, but I was just very unsure. And I. Uh, I wear my boxers underneath them just to keep them cleaner so you don't have to wash them every single day. But that is my solution. Plus going vegan, I highly recommend it, you guys. If you guys want any advice in that department, don't hesitate to leave a message. I can definitely help. You might want to check out Tammy's Kitchen.ca or Tammy's Rippin' Kitchen on YouTube if that's something you're curious about. It changed my life and it'll change yours. And my plan is to actually not go in and see a doctor. I am hoping that this is going to be my solution. What I have noticed is my hernia usually was about, on a worst day, it's almost that big. It is a massive hernia. But since I got these, I feel like the tear is healing up. My hernia has shrunk to about half the size, which I'm guessing means that the tear is sealing up a little bit. So my goal is that these are going to heal me and I'll never have to go to the doctor. And when that day comes, if it does, I will definitely do another video on them. But that's it for today. Just thought that might help one person out there. And if it does, my video was a success. Mm -hmm.